Hey, good evening, y'all. Um, I've been pretty busy today, but I've also been busy, like, online, too. Um, TJ and Crazy and Irish and Bushcraft and Bear and Trust in God and, um, TJ Squatchy, thank you very much for bringing that information towards, you know, our way. So that way we can better, um, let people know what's coming between bushcraft watching the ports I mean, we all are um a certain people you know here specialize in certain things and some people specialize in a lot of things but we learn from each other and we get our information from each other and a lot of you that send us emails or pictures or sorry i got a motorcycle motorcycles three <laughs> the boys are out you know it's that time of year anyways um we get a lot of our information from you guys who email us um or text us if you have our number to do so um because it lets us know what's actually really happening you know what i mean like if they're over here saying that this is going on people can be like well no no they're not or if people are saying that things aren't really bad things are getting better we're like i don't think so because now they're limiting one pet food item per person per order like so if i if i were to cash out i could only get one pet food item and my question is, is that like one for my cats, you know, my cat, one for my dog, one for my fish, or is that just one item? I don't know that yet. I'm going to say probably one of each kind, but I don't know. Can you pick up dry and wet for your dog? I, I don't know. We all need to learn and do it more. Um, we cook for Danny, but our cat does not eat table food. He just won't. I've tried to give his cat salmon and, and he sneezed at it. <laughs> And I didn't do anything to it. I didn't season it or anything, so he sneezed at it. He just does not eat anything from the table at all. I've tried to open up a can of tuna fish. Same thing. He, he just, he's picky. So he has a dry food, and then he has, like, this soupy porridge stuff that he eats. So it's really important that you guys stock up on your pet food. Um, our fish food, since the beginning of this, is really hard to find. A certain kind like we feed our fish you know um find better ways you know to stretch food and still have your animals healthy um bake your own treats a friend of mine you know she bakes treats um you know pops in the spring and summer dogs like yogurt and berries you can feed them blueberries um strawberries apples bananas but you know be careful because they need to go outside to go potty and you don't want them going in your house but that's just a few things that you know i just kind of wanted to talk about here and it's really really important you guys do your own garden and i know it's really hard for some of y'all to like do a garden in an apartment or a balcony or if you're renting and your landlord says he doesn't want anything outside other than maybe a flower pot, well, I'm growing lettuce and thyme and basil and cilantro and, well, actually the cilantro died, but you can grow your herbs and edible flowers and lettuces in flower pots. So if you put some flowers in, you can add some strawberries or you can get a bean plant, you know, do some beans or some peas and then just throw some flowers in there or do it in the house at the Dollar Tree. They actually have these pots that you can stack on top of each other and they have like a shape like this. And then you go and you put the next one and just turn it a little bit. So you have all these big pockets. Um, Firefly uh, Farm mentioned uh, hanging on the back of a door, um, putting up... Uh, what do you call it? Those shoe organizers and planting inside shoe organizers. You know, ask around. Um, get on some of the sites and, you know, the other channels, the prepper channels, and, you know, see what they're doing. You know, research on YouTube or just in your search engine. 
research things like how to grow this in a small space or how to grow this on the patio or how to grow this on a balcony or how to grow inside. I can grow lettuce in the house all year long underneath a planting fish tank light. That'll cost you about $25, $30, $30, $40. <clears throat> now I just happen to have the tanks to grow in because I broke them down. Um, but you can put you can put that light on a shelf with some zip ties. So um, where there's a will, there's a way. Okay. The other thing is is um, did you know that NASA is making contact with aliens again? I think it was in 1974 was the last time they did something like this, but they're actually showing pictures to aliens of naked humans. Check this out. All right, everyone. So you've heard it from TJ's channel <clears throat> um, about, you know, you need to stock up. She's been to many stores over the course of the past few days because her and others know that something more is up. But again, let's let's check out this thing with NASA and aliens. All right, so apparently NASA scientists plan to attract aliens by sending unsolicited nudes into space. But since then, I guess they already have. The project is known as a beacon in the galaxy, BITG, and it shows the various diagrams related to the biochemistry, or but yeah, and are of life on Earth and two cartoons of the male and female body with exposed, you know, parts. Space research organizations around the world, mostly NASA, have been trying to contact extraterrestrial life, or what we call aliens, for a long time now. Now, my issue is, is that some of society questions us Christians about God, about Jesus, about the Holy Spirit. Some of us even call us whack jobs. Yet, our own governments, Pentagon, NASA, are out there trying to communicate with extraterrestrial intelligence in the Milky Way galaxy. An updated binary coded message has been developed for transmission to extraterrestrial intelligence. I will link this in the description. So in 1974, NASA sent an unusual message a long way into space. Scientists transmitted a picture message towards the global star cluster Messier 13, located near the edge of the Milky Way. Its target, possible intelligent alien life. Its contents, information on mankind and our home planet Earth. None of us will ever know whether or not an extraterrestrial civilization will get it, though that first ever instellar radio message sent with the Ariel's Babel telescope, sorry if I ruptured that word, will take 25,000 light years to arrive. Even worse, however, is what may happen if an alien does get it. There's no guarantee they'll understand. The message wasn't exactly projected in high definition. Obviously, it would be a big waste if the whole en endeavor ended with a confused alien shrug. That is why scientists want to try sending it again with much sharper message with more info. This is what they're sending. It looks like something out of a game. This one looks like 
we should have a Pac-Man running around there eating pellets and cherries and strawberries. But this is what they're sending. So I don't know who's all on this um, or why they're sending the way they are. But this is 27 photos of what they're showing. Um, this is rather strange. Um, this is the image that they show of man and woman. Yeah, and then there's this, which I talked to Bushcraft and he said this is a, is a sound. So um, that's what that, I guess, is. But this is the messages that they sent into space. I guess that's Earth. <sighs> so, yeah. Here's more. <laughs> I mean, they already got sounds from Saturn. I don't know about you guys, but many of you, when I played those sounds in a video, y'all didn't get the greatest feeling of the sounds that they captured from Saturn. Um, in my opinion, I do not believe in aliens, but I mean, I mean, we could be alien to other things. Alien just means different kind of beings, right? other than humans. My opinion, they're falling angels and I don't think we should be going and poking around and opening up doors that shouldn't be opened. I mean, if this is what they think that they look like and people have explained seeing these things and being taken, why would you want to contact them and give them information about us. Yeah. So I have like three or four tabs up. I'll link them in the description of this. You guys go look at it. But I actually read this this morning and this has been on my mind all day. I'm sorry that I did not um, make a better video, but mostly I was just getting this out there to show you what NASA's doing. 